this is my part 2 in derivatives. Evaluate the limits. I have here, number 1, limit x approaches to 4. Function is x squared plus 3x minus 5. By the way, refrain solving this one, 1 over 0 is equal to undefined. Okay? So, for number 1, Let's substitute straight away because I know that this is this is not undefined. So this will be 4 squared plus 3 times 4, then minus 5. So this will be 16. This will be plus 12, minus 5. So combine this one. So this is 28 minus 5. And then 28 minus 5 is 23. So that is for number 1. Now let's proceed to number 2. As we check this one, if we substitute 1, this one, the, the p value, if 1 squared, I think this is not undefined. So we can substitute straight away. So this will be equal to 1, because t equals to 1, 1 plus 1 squared, all over by 2 times 1 squared plus 3. So what is 1? This is 2 squared over 2. 1 squared is 1 plus 3. That is 4. So this is 4 over 2 times 4. So cross out 4. So the answer for number 2 is 1 over 2. Now let's move to number 3. Number 3 is limit x approaches positive 1 then my function is x squared minus 1 all over by x squared plus 3x minus 4 okay look at the numerator x squared minus 1 so this is difference of two squares by recalling our algebra a squared minus b squared is equal to the factors are a plus b and then a minus b since I have here x squared minus 1 squared so this is the standard form of difference of two squares so my a is x and then b is 1 so follow the formula so a plus b so this will be x plus 1 and then a minus b so x minus 1 so, for the numerator, this will be limits, x approaches to 1. So, factors are x plus 1 and then x minus 1. Now, how about x squared plus 3x minus 4? So, take note if the middle term is positive and then the last term is negative. So, there are two factors. So, I can have x, x no, positive and then negative sign. So factor first, the first term and the last term. So factors are x times x. How about 4? 4 times 1. So, so what I said, there are two signs. It should be, this one is x. The other one is x also. So say plus 4. And then this one will be minus 1. So let us check 4x. And then this one will be minus x. So the middle term is 3x. So therefore, this is correct. So I have here the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to x plus 4 and then x minus 1. So cross out x minus 1. So I have here limit x approaches to 1. The function is x plus 1 over x plus 4. So I need to substitute because I know that this will not be undefined because this is positive plus 4 that will be 5. So this is not undefined. So substitute when x equals 1, 1 plus 1, then 1 plus 4. So this will be equal to 2, 1 plus 4 is 5. So my number 3 answer is 2 over 5. Now let's move to number 4. Number 4 limits x approaches to 4 
2x squared minus 7x minus 4. And then my denominator is x squared minus x minus 12. So again, recall our algebra in factoring. So 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. So take note, the middle term and the last term having the same sign. So the factors in the numerator must be positive and negative. So let us factor the first term, 2x times x. How about this one? Uh, let's say 4 and 1 for 2 times 2. So I will use this one. We'll try. Because this is not a perfect square, so we will apply trial and error factoring by trial and error. So let's say this will be 2x. And then this will be x. Then let's try 2x plus 1. And then this will be x minus 4. Let us check. So this will be x. And then this one will be negative 8x. So this will be negative 7x. So the factors are correct. So this will be limits. x approaches to 4. Okay, for my numerator, factors are 2x plus 1. And then x minus 4. How about my denominator? So x squared minus x minus 12. Again, there are two signs for the, the middle term is negative and the last term is negative. So the factors must be positive and negative. So factors of x squared will be x times x. How about 12? 3 and 4. Let's try. 6 and 2. Then 12 times 1. So let's try this one. So, as so what I said, there are two signs. This one will be plus. So in here plus, and this will be plus. So in here minus. So since minus, so let's try 3, this one, and then this will be 4. Check. This will be 3x. And then this will be minus 4x. So since negative 4 is so having a negative sign, so this will be subtraction. So this will be x. So what will be the sign since... 4 is greater than 3 and then 4 is having negative sign so this will be negative so this is correct so my factors for my denominator are x plus 3 and x minus 4 okay take note if you have the same factors from your numerator and denominator this will be crossed out so I have here in here limit x approaches to 4 so my function is 2x plus 1 over x plus 3. Then, if we try to substitute 4 in here, so it will not be 0. So we can substitute the value of x. So this will be 2 times 4 plus 1. Then this will be 4 plus 3. So what is 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 3 is 7. So the answer is 9 over 7. So that is for number 4. Let's move to number 5. And this is the last number. Limit x approaches to 3 x squared plus x minus 12 over 2 x squared minus 7 x plus 3. So factor the numerator so this will be x times x, then this is 4 times 3. So take note, the middle term is having positive sign, and then the last term is negative. So the factors will be plus and minus. So let's try x plus 4, and then the other will be minus x minus 3. Let us check. So this will be 4x. Then x times negative 3 this will be negative 3x so I have here x so this is correct so my numerator factors will be x plus 4 and then x minus 3 how about my denominator what's the factors of 2x squared 2x squared 
minus 7x plus 3. So factors are 2x times x. This one is 3 times 1. Since the middle term is having negative sign and the last term is positive, so factors are all negative. So 2x and then this will be x. Let's try uh, 3 and then this will be 1. So to check the middle term is correct, negative 3x and then this one will be negative 2x. So this is wrong because this is negative 5x. Because the middle term the given is negative 7x. So we will uh, exchange 3 and 1. Let us exchange 3 and 1 in their position. So this will be 3 and then this will be 1. Take note that it should be negative 7x. So to check this will be negative x. This will be negative 6x. So the same sign. Take the common sign and then take addition. So 1x plus x. 1x plus 6x, that will be 7x. So the sign is negative. This is correct. So the factors for my denominators are 2x minus 1 and then x minus 3. As what I said, if they are common in the numerator and denominator, it should be cross out. So cross out x minus 3. So I have here x limit x approaches to 3, x plus 4 over 2x minus 1. And I know that it will not make 0 to the denominator, so I need to substitute straight away. So this will be 3 plus 4, and then 2 times 3 minus 1. So this will be 7. 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1. So this will be 7 over 5. So that's the answer for number 5, and that's all.